Right, folks, uh, we're walking down the arcade of the old GPO, the oh, General Post Office. Um, this now um, is um, occupied by H&M. They're a Swedish shit clothing company. <laughs> um, but this is great. Look at this. It um, reminds me a bit of Turin, and I suppose both Piedmont region of Italy, which is uh, used to be known as the Kingdom of Savoy, um, part of it anyway, and, uh, and uh, Melbourne, which was built on the uh, strength of the gold rush in the gold fields. Um, see, look. Sorry, mate. Melbourne's GPO. I wasn't lying. And there you go, HMM. Fuck you. Look. <laughs> Circa 1841. Well, it's not 1850. A popular meeting place. The post office quickly became a regular meeting place as Melburnians gathered to collect their mail <laughs> and other parcels arriving from Britain. The installation of the first clock in 1842 also served the important role of public timekeeping in an era when most people did not have watches. This is beautiful. I do. I, uh, I love this shit, you know. There's normally lots of people here because there's a restaurant there. But there's no one here today, obviously, because it's pissing down, raining. But, um, yeah, so, um, these are the, uh, archways of the, um, old GPO that run parallel to Elizabeth Street in Melbourne. Roger that. Whoops. Oh, I do my own stunts. I'll do it, don't worry, love. I'm filming. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the David Attenborough of punk rock. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I film you smiling? You've got lovely teeth. All right, have a nice day, ladies. Bye, ladies. <laughs> She's going the distance.